Hi, good day. Welcome back to our class in Chemistry Laboratory. Today, I will be performing or making a pre-lab lecture for the next activity on the analysis of the anions. If we are going to recall, anions are those ions which have negative charges. They are usually found in the group 5, group 6, and group 7 in the periodic table. And all the polyatomic ions are an ions except the ammonium ion. So for the first procedure in this activity, we are going to test for the presence of the polyatomic ion sulfate. So let's get sodium sulfate and let's add this with hydrochloric acid. The sodium sulfate. Let us add this with hydrochloric acid. Let's acidify this with hydrochloric acid. So when we say acidify, let us make this acidic and test it with the blue lipos paper until the blue liquid paper will just turn red. Okay, so it's already acidic. And let's add two more drops of this hydrochloric acid. And this mixture of the sodium sulfate and the hydrochloric acid, let's add barium chloride. So let's add it with 1 ml of barium chloride. So that's 10 drops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Observe what happens. The next procedure is the test for the presence of the carbonate ion. So we're going to use here the sodium carbonate. Let's get 2 ml of the sample of sodium carbonate. We have here already the sodium carbonate and the test is present by reacting this with the calcium hydroxide using its vapor once it is added with the sulfuric acid. So we will dip this nitrum wire into the calcium hydroxide. Let's make a film. So here is the film of the calcium hydroxide. And we will expose this film into this mixture of the calcium carbonate and added with sulfuric acid. So let's have the sulfuric acid. Thank you. 
observe what happens to the film. After the film was exposed to the vapor issued by the calcium carbonate and the sulfuric acid. The next procedure is to prove the presence of the fluoride and the chloride ions. Let's get a sample of the sodium fluoride. Ten drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then let's test this whether it's basic or acidic by dropping a litmus paper into it. So because the solution is basic, let's make this into acidic by adding acetic acid that will just make this solution acidic. So, we just have the blue lettuce paper just turned red. And I added here 10 drops of the acetic acid. And because I added here 10 drops of the acetic acid, I have to add more 10 drops of the acetic acid. So this solution which has been added with the acetic acid, let us add this with calcium nitrate. Can we observe what happens? So you notice that there is a faint precipitate that is formed. And because there is a faint precipitate that is formed, this is an indication that fluorine is present. We will remove out the precipitate and to the filtrate, we will treat it with silver nitrate. So we will filter out the precipitate and the filtrate later let us add it with silver nitrate. This is the filtrate now that we have collected and we will add this with silver nitrate. Kindly observe what happens. Notice that there is a precipitate form. And because there is a precipitate form, let us dissolve this by adding sodium hydroxide. Then, let us, so the white precipitate is gone, and let us filter this out and add it with sulfuric acid.
And to the filtrate, let us acidify this with sulfuric acid. So let's add this with the sulfuric acid until the blue lipless paper will just turn red. So notice that the blue lipless paper just turned red. Then we are going to add this with silver nitrate. Take note what happens. And because there is a precipitate that is formed, this is an indication that there is also the chloride ion that is present. Let's go to test for bromide and iodide. So bromide and iodide. Let's get a solution of sodium bromide and sodium iodide. And let's add it with sodium iodide so for our test sample. Take note that it is basic because the, the blue litmus paper remains blue. And let us neutralize this with the nitric acid. So the blue litmus paper just turned red. And let us add two more drops of the nitric acid to make sure that it becomes acidic. So this is already the acidified solution of the sodium iodide and the sodium bromide. Under this, we're going to add four drops of chlorine water. what happens and we're going to add to this carbon tetrachloride Observe what happens to the lower layer of the liquid. What's the color? Then let's remove this purple out. This color purple out. And let's add it with more chlorine water.
So we have removed the purple layer, which you saw this a while ago at the bottom part of the mixture. And to this, we are going to add more chlorine water and carbon tetrachloride. Let's add it with carbon tetrachloride. What happens to the color? A tinge of yellow indicates the presence of chlorine. Then for the last procedure, we are going to prove the presence of nitrate. Let's have the sodium nitrate and let's make this alkali. Notice that this is acidic and let's make this alkaline by adding sodium hydroxide. So the red litmus paper just turned blue. That means that this solution now is alkaline or basic. After making the sodium nitrate alkaline by adding it with sodium hydroxide, let us boil this in the water bath. And with this boiled solution of the sodium nitrate, let us cool this and add it with aluminum shavings. So by cooling it, we're going to let this be run down with tap water. So let's cool this a little bit on the air. And if it is already a little bit cool, then we are going to run down this with Water. To get water, man. Now this is already cold, so we were we are going to add the aluminum shavings.
and let's put this again to the water bath. And, and let us expose a red lipos paper onto the top or the mouth of the glass tube. And I want you to observe what happens. Observe what happens to the color of the red lipos paper when placed over the mouth of the test tube wherein there is an issued gas from the solution. So that would be all for this afternoon. What I would like you to do is you are going to write all the observations that you have made and answer all the questions in the lab guide. And please submit your output next week. And that is all for today. This is your teacher, Professor Anisita Ruiz of Holy Name University.